my strongest trip yet. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one. Welcome to today's report. Today's report is sent in coming from Walker Christensen Music. When this happened, we don't know. The drugs used, DXM, mushrooms, and LSD. The gender, male. The weight, we don't know. Age, we don't know. Height, we don't know. The dose, 500 milligrams of DXM. He had 4 grams of Golden Teachers, and then 5 dried medium-sized bombers, and 200 micrograms of LSD. Prior experience, we would say he's very experienced, and where this happened was at the crib. So, this is one of those trips that are kind of beyond words, one of those trips that kind of just, kind of like, blow your expectations, like, out of the water, and like, way beyond what you can even imagine one of those types of trips at least by the sounds of it and he just kind of splurged into a stash it seemed like and went for like one of the wildest experiences he could get and this is his report so i'm sure you guys are gonna like it and without further ado let's dive right into it i want to start writing this while it's somewhat clear forgive me as this is my first trip report i've ever written but this trip was different a little backstory, I am super experienced with mind altering substances across the board and been on countless trips. Nothing quite prepared me for this though. I want to make this extremely clear, I do not suggest anyone try what I did without proper mindset and setting, preparation and experience. If you choose to do this mix, I strongly encourage you to have a trip sitter around if you are not experienced in a long term breakthrough trip scenario. All right, enough of the jibber jabber, let's bust into this puppy. I got off work, got home, and entered chill mode. Smoked a few, and around 8 p.m., I decided I wanted to trip, wander downstairs to my candy box, and decide 500 milligrams dex trip should scratch the itch. Two hours upon ingestion, I wasn't satisfied. I was somewhere in the high second plat, so I decided to eat a mushroom chocolate containing 4 gram golden teachers. The next hour was extremely relaxing as the mushrooms welcomed me into their kingdom. However, this is when things are going to be extremely hard to articulate. Like, really fucking hard. I'm going to spurt off a list of things I did slash experienced, but they are not going to be in chronological order because, well, there wasn't any order to anything. I know that after the mushroom chocolate, I ingested another undetermined amount of mushrooms I think maybe 5 dried medium sized bombers as well as a hit of 200 micrograms pure LSD. I was everywhere. I was everyone. I was me then. I was you. I was her. Then him. I was us. I was the universe. It all made sense. My ego obliterated. I watched the full lives of many flash before my eyes. I was a fly on the wall looking upon time, space, and reality while they tugged at the inner depths of my suppressed mind. I found myself outside speaking to the trees and laughing at the wind while spray painting mushrooms around my neighborhood. I know I know I shouldn't be a vandal, but I was very respectful of my tag placements as I always am. I felt free, happy, and comfortable. I found myself in my room speaking to the patterns, and then I felt it. I heard it. A shaman's call, that's all I can call it. I popped another couple caps and left. I was visited by vivid, tactile hallucinations of my life's memories at my fingertips. Time was like the Grand Canyon or New York, as in it was a place that could be visited, like a nonlinear time experience. I was interrogated by my demons and was able to face them unswayed by the attempts to break me down as they have for so long. I died and was reborn forever. I understood my place in the universe, and though I may not be happy with it 100% of the time, I've come to the realization that if I was life, would be boring. I desperately wish there were a way to describe the beauty of a trip, but words simply can't describe the incomprehensible reality that is the trip world. Until we meet again.